Hello, this is Calvin. Um, I'm going to demonstrate the Outlook Mileage Calculator. The purpose of this file is to um, download the appointments in the calendar of your Outlook email uh, program. What it does is it'll download the, um, the start date of your appointment, the subject of the appointment, um, it'll also give you the appointment's address and then it enables you to um, set an office or a home address and it'll generate the round trip um, mileage so you can keep a log of miles to and from your appointments without having to keep track of paper and watch your odometer and do all that. This does it in a matter of um, in a matter of seconds you can take an entire year's worth of mileage just based on the location of your of your appointments. So to give you an example, I've pulled up, um, put some sample um, test appointments into a calendar. Um, today is um, September 25th, 2014, so eventually this will get a little older and whatever, but you can kind of see that I've put some recent appointments in. You'll also notice that on these appointments, um, I've put an address in for the location. The purpose of that is to generate the um, uh, the round trip mileage based on the location. So, say you're a plumber, or um, you say you're you've got business in 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 different places. We'll put the location, the address of the places you're going, and that's really all that you have to do in order for this to work. And one cool thing is that you don't even need Outlook open. So. Um, this will actually uh, link into your Outlook automatically and download that information. So to demonstrate, um, all you need to do is simply click on um, the Download Appointments button. It'll ask you to enter your office address. So I'll just turn and do that. And then you'll just need to put in a, a start and an end date. And push OK. Um, so right now it's generated the appointment start times. And you can see that it's an AM. Um, there's It's fully formatted right here. Um, you've got the, the names of the appointments. You've got your office address. And then you've got your appointment address. So clicking Calculate Distance, it links into Google's API and pulls in the actual distance and then calculates the round trip distance. Now you'll notice here that, um, and, and this is actually why I've broken it up into two different buttons. Because um, some of the addresses you'll say, you know, it's so-and-so's office or something like that. And in that case, it's not going to generate your distance. But since it's in Excel, you can easily um, correct that and then rerun the actual calculation. So that way you can get your mileage. I mean, this is going to save you a lot of time and it'll help you organize and see exactly what you're doing throughout the day. So um, I'm glad you take a, a moment to look at this. I think it'll really help out.